We're standing here in front of the House of Hope. This is one of the largest buildings ever built just for church, for worship. So today we're gonna to talk about what is church? It's COVID-19. And although this place has over 10,000 seats, most of its congregants cannot come weekly to worship here anymore. And so is the church a building? Is the church his people? What does Jesus say the church is? So we're gonna continue our series, Simply Jesus. Come on inside and we're gonna talk about it. We have made it to the inside of the House of Hope where people come right in to the place of God for them to meet, assemble, come together and worship God. But what is the church? And what did Jesus actually teach and say that the church is? And what does that mean about him being who he says he is? The first time we talked about who is Jesus. Then we talked about the grace of Jesus. And putting those two things together, we get our faith and what we believe. In Matthew 16, 13 through 20, Jesus has a conversation with the disciples about who he is and what they are called to be. He asked them, who do men say that I am? And they said to him, well, some say you're Elijah, some say you're Jeremiah, some say you're a prophet from the Old Testament or from the old scriptures who comes back and now is living again. He looks at the disciples and he gives them a test. He gives them this question directly for them. He says, yeah, that's what they say, but who do you say that I am? And of course, Peter, the boldest of them, the one who has no filter, the oldest of them, stands up and he says, Jesus, you are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. You are the living, breathing God. And Jesus then turns to him and says, you're right. Simon, your name is now Peter, which is Petros, which is the rock. And he says, upon this rock, Petras, now I will build my church. And the word he uses for church is ecclesia. Matthew wants us to get from this, that Jesus is talking about a group of people, a church that's going out into the world and they're bringing the love and the grace and the, the justice of God to the world. Whatever you bind on earth will be bind up in heaven. Whatever you bind and you loose on earth will be loosed then up in heaven. That there's this automatic spiritual thing that happens when God's people, faithful people, are together on one accord in unity, operating off the belief that Jesus is who he said he is, the Messiah, the Son of God, who died on the cross for our sins. And now we are empowered then to go out into the world and to make the world a better place. The church are people who don't just gather in a building, who don't just gather at home, who don't just gather in a specific location, but the church are people who act on one accord and represent the love, the grace of God by being a part of the ecclesia, taking on the mission of God, going out into the world and making the world a better place. Where is it that you find yourself? Are you a part of God's church? Because you could easily be in this building and find yourself in one of the 10,000 seats and still not have a relationship with Jesus. You can still find yourself being a part of a church family of people who always went to church and not believe for yourself that you have a mission to change the world. Being a part of the church is believing in Him and acting on what He has called you to do. Let us be the church.